Hey guys, welcome back to Little Boy Customs. Today we're going to be working on welding the cab back onto the car floorboard and firewall and we'll just see how far we get. I've covered how I make patch panels in the past, whether it be with cardboard, uh, brown paper, or even I've, I've even used this plywood like I am today. So uh, I'm not going to talk a whole lot in this video. It's going to be more of a time lapse video, but I will explain this side about how I'm making my patch panel. So, so if you look down in here, you'll see that there's a lip right there. That is the lower half of the cab. You need to make sure that you cut all of the bracket out that was inside here from that ran across the cab. But what we're going to do is we're going to make our metal set on that lip right there and then come straight up and then come over and I'll weld all that into it from the bottom and all that. I'll show you more on that side over there where I'm working. So if you look here, if this was our metal, if you see right down there, that right there is our lip. So we have the metal resting on the lip right there. And then all I've done is I've used uh, C-clamps and that kind of stuff and just made sure that the wood is resting on there the way I want it to, as you can see right there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in after I cut the metal, I'm gonna weld all this in. And then the other part I'm gonna do is take this piece here, and that will determine how tall, you see from this angle here, the wood is taller than what the floor is right now. So what I'll do is I'll use a uh, sharpie and then just draw a line across there and that'll tell me how tall that I want that to come up and then uh, from there we'll use that piece of wood that I just touched this one right here and as you can see there's a little bit of a bow in this cab because there's a gap there but there's not one down here same way that direction there so what I'll do is I'll start just trimming the edges off down there and down there and then we'll get this bow right. That or what I could do is always push this back in, but as you see, it leaves gaps there. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do there. I'm thinking what I'll do is what I said, I'll trim there and I'll trim right down here. And then that'll close this bow up right here and get that, uh, that angle right. And then uh, we'll weld the top piece on. And then we'll do the same thing on that side over there. And Hopefully, I'm not sure, but hopefully I'd like to wet, make the strips that go down through here as well to weld that on. And then we'll just have to worry about welding the back side of the cab on, which I actually have most of that metal still left there from the last build. I'm planning on using that, pushing it in and welding it together to close it off. And then the only thing we'll have left is that gap right there, which I want to finish doing the windshield wipers and then close that gap in. So... That's where we're at. On to the time lapse.
got all this welded. We welded those down there first. I didn't weld this area here because it's all rotted out. And I'm not sure if I'm going to make something or just leave it alone. And then uh, we uh, cut this down a couple of times and uh, got this welded in. I still have a little bit of a lip right in here. So I'm going to take a grinder and just kind of grind that down a little bit. And uh, But it looks pretty good. This side's done. So after getting the bottom half welded in, we also got this all welded in. And I'm telling you, she looks factory. Well, that's if there was a bunch of toddlers that knew how to weld and was in the factory. It looks like, well, I don't want to be demonetized, so I can't tell you exactly what it looks like. But she's welded in, and she's not going to go nowhere. So, now, down here I did weld on the inside and the outside. I only welded on the outside here, and then here I only welded on the outside. But still looks pretty good. One side down. The other side to go, I'm not going to make y'all watch all that though. I'll do the other side and we'll go from there. Alright guys, um, I've had a couple of questions here recently about what gauge steel I'm using. Uh, I usually use 14 gauge steel, but I have used 16 gauge before. Of course the uh, 14 gauge steel is going to be a little bit thicker, not by much, but it seems to hold up fairly well. and. It does everything that I want it to do. So, uh, hopefully that'll answer some of y'all's questions. Hope y'all enjoyed the video today. Um, still trying to get to a thousand subscribers by June of this year. So if you are a subscriber, I appreciate that. If you would do me a favor, share our channel, either through Facebook or uh, word of mouth, whatever, uh, to other people that might be interested in subscribing to us. We'd love to hit a thousand subscribers by June of this year. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It sure would help me out a lot. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. Or if there's anything else you want to talk about, leave it in the comment below. I usually answer all those at this point. So leave it in the comment below. I'll get back to you. Until next time, thanks for watching. Be safe.